pleased to, to do that and, and obviously get up and running with, with the victory is nice but um, I think we I think we all know really that he, you know he was he was a bit clunky um, to say the least at times as in some really good stuff as far as possessions concerned and opportunities to um, to convert uh, were, were there in spades but we wasn't patient enough to, to be able to convert that so I think that's the, the moral of the story really. There were obviously a few knocks, Jack Coleman, Craig Casey and Jimmy O'Brien, have you any early indications yeah. to um, serious they are? They seem they seem not 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 too bad. Jimmy's shoulders uh, shut down a little bit. There's something that he's um, had in the past there. Uh, Jack uh, lost power in his foot, which seems okay. And Craig had a tight back, which was making his hamstring uh, cramp. So taking off with precaution more than anything. And just finally, you you said it was a bit clumpy. What pleased you about the performance? Well, obviously, some of, some of the individual performances were, were, were great, you know, to see where people are at. Um, again, uh, having the opportunity, I mean, the, the, the possession that we had in the first half, especially, you know, um, the pressure that we put on Italy, they couldn't get out of their own half, so we, we're obviously doing something right, you know, but um, again, converting those, converting those is, has to be key for us going forward. Having said that, I thought Italy, I thought they were... Um, strong, certainly defensively, and uh, as far as the breakdown is concerned, they put a lot of pressure on there, so they've uh, learned us a few things going forward in, in, in that regard as well. And as far as the, the set piece stuff is concerned, when we got into good positions, um, you know, I think we can um, have a look at that and, and, and convert a, a few more chances. But obviously, Italy defended those malls pretty well as well. Thanks. Ashley? Yeah. And you know, do, you, do you feel the Jack Rowdy done at 10 tonight? He did well. I mean, you know, he, I thought he, he certainly in the first half he controlled um, controlled the game very well. Um, I, I didn't think he overplayed uh, too much. He looked composed. He looked composed enough. There's a few things that we'll that we'll chat about during the week that will help his performance. But he'll be glad to get that one done. Um, another experience where he's he started uh, at ten and this time he's he's, he's been able to run the week, etc. So. You'll gain uh, massive, massive confidence from that. And Karen Crawley come on then in the second half. He's obviously someone that's in your talks. Well, obviously, I'll see, I'll see, I'll see what would be here, you know. Um, yeah, I mean, we, we, we'll have a look at the, the performances of the, of the two of them playing together, you know. We try and get two ball, uh, ball players playing together. Um, whether that came into fruition or not, um, I'm not too sure at this moment in time. I think we. We started the second half pretty poorly, really, and uh, um, didn't really get going for, for a while there, so we'll have to look at that as well. And Ian, for you, what would like to be here for country today? Yeah, obviously, <coughs> massive um, privilege and fast touched on there, especially to be able to lead out for those three guys getting their first caps, and that was something we could put a focus on as players to make sure that we could get the W beside their, beside their first cap. and, and um, I thought the guys, a lot of the times out there, were nice and calm. They looked after things, but we left too much ball go in that first half. We probably left a huge amount out there. Um, but at times, I thought for, for our first game out there, there was some some positive stuff as well. Thanks, Gavin. Ian, uh, proud day for BRA in Belfast. Um, I want to be thought of your performance and what he's brought in, in his time over the summer so far as well. Yeah, look, obviously Tom's been outstanding for Ulster over the last season or two and um, um, I've first picked up he popped up my radar his last few years at school and obviously um, uh, he had a, f a few frustrating seasons with, with injury but to see him come in and to get be given the opportunity to come in and train over the last couple of campaigns and, and be away with emerging Ireland and, and really put his hand up and, and, and show that he has the ability to, to play this top standard of rugby um, I thought he came on. He had a few good carries there. Um, I think in, in camp he's been, he's really slotted in well. When when he when he's had the um, when he's had opportunities to to perform in training, he's taken them. And, and and I think, like I said about Joe out there as well, that both those guys have really exciting futures ahead of them in the green jersey. Andy, a lot, a lot of us hoping Jake Stockfield's going to recapture his best form. What do you make of his performance tonight? Um, a, a lot of good and, um, and some bits that he, he'll, he'll hope to tidy up. Um, 
you know, it's two years, isn't it, from from his last start? So, um, you know, it would have been a, a big day for Jacob. Um, he'll be better off for for the experience, that's for sure. Thanks. Uh, final questions, and I let Ian go. Ruth. Ian, just how good was it to be back out right there after the, the injuries you've had, and how much did you enjoy your responsibilities this week as captain? Yeah. Look. Um, to get back out there last game was obviously in the Six Nations, second last game in the Six Nations, so to get out there and uh, playing for Ireland was a huge bonus, but to get playing again w w was brilliant. Um, Captain and those bunch of lads there, they make it all so easy for me. Um, there's leaders scattered throughout that entire squad and playing with players like Earlsey and um, Caelan Doris, Rob Herring, all those guys are, the team practically leads itself and I just try and steer it a wee bit. Um, a lot of those guys make it easy for me and, and um, I hope the first cabbers enjoyed their experience and, and they made it easy for me to enjoy it as well. And Andy, just how um, important is Ian's leadership, especially with Johnny being out at the moment? Oh, it's priceless. Uh, I mean, I wasn't on the field so I don't know what he was saying, but I was, I was watching the game and seeing how he was leading by his actions. I thought um, uh, he's had a great pre-season so far. Uh, and obviously we've got another four or five weeks of that to go so he looks in great shape I thought he played his weight he was a handful uh, going forward um, his work rate was, was was top class you know and then when you've got your leader uh, putting in uh, a shift like that it inspires the, the other people to do the same and uh, Joe was Joe was at the side of him and, and not far behind him as well as far as the, all the rest of the stuff and then yeah so that was that was great um, you know, and, and I think the the moral of the story is that there's a there's a there's a few good performances in there. I mean, Joe, I mean, Ian talking about Tom Stewart as well. I think there's a similarity there in regards to Joe and Tom. They they weren't going out there tonight trying uh, with a, with an attitude of hoping that they went all right. They tried to make it happen, you know. And people, young kids with attitudes like that are going to go places pretty quickly. Thanks. Final question for this section, Ed. Andy, can I just ask you about Ken Norris's performance? You've obviously. I'm sick of him getting my own match. <laughs> sick of him. In a slightly different role tonight, two tries, and he, he, uh, yeah, he said he got my own match. What do you think of his performance overall? Um, well, he just keeps getting better and better. I mean, um, we all know he's, he's, he's good at Jacqueline and good over the ball, and I don't know whether he, he took that through the roof because he had a number seven on his back, but. Um, He's, he's, he epitomises what we're, what we're trying to do as far as the player being in control of his, his, his own thoughts, his own mind, etc. And it doesn't really matter whether he makes a mistake or, or two. He just gets on with the next job the whole time, you know, and just being himself. And uh, he's, he's growing the whole time, not just in, in the way that he's playing. He's obviously playing extremely well, but he's, he's certainly growing as far as his, his, his leadership role is concerned as well. So he's coming on leaps and bounds.